everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, so for this video, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the 4K picture for War of the Worlds. And it goes without saying that this is the 1953 version. Now, before I get on with this video, I have to do a big shout out to my good friend Connor Gray for gifting me such a beautiful release of this movie. It's from a company called Imprint. This is the first 4K release and they've done such a stunning job on the presentation on this set. It really is beautiful. And a huge thanks again, Connor. Uh, I had such a wonderful time revisiting this movie on 4K. As for the movie itself, look, it's a sci-fi classic. It's one of my favourite sci-fi classics. And I have to admit, it's actually great to have two adaptions of this movie, whether it is this one or the Steven Spielberg version. Now, I've never read the novel myself, but going by from what I've been reading, I think the Spielberg version is the most faithful adaption of the novel. And that's what I'm going to just quickly talk about here is the differences that you're going to see with this version over the Spielberg version. And I think the first obvious one is how the Martians uh, land on Earth, where in this one they kind of crash down in meteorites, where in the Spielberg one the war machines were always there, they were very, very deep. And uh, they actually come down in lightning storms, actually beam down in lightning storms, and then, kind of, of course, they raise up from the ground. So very, very different uh, in both movies. And not only that, but the actual war machines in the Spielberg version are tripods, where in this version, they kind of look like flying UFOs, like with ET heads. It's, it's a very strange uh, design choice, but it works very well for this movie. But not only that, now, I don't know how true this is, because I read this up before, and I need to look into it myself. But apparently, someone did say that the, the, the crafts that you see in this one are actually tripods. Apparently, they have invisible legs. Now, there's supposed to be one scene in it where you actually see, the, you faintly see these beams of light coming out from, from under them. You see these three energy beams. Now, again, I don't know how true that is. I have to look, check it out myself. But uh, I found that to be quite intriguing when I actually read that. Uh, another difference that you're going to see, of course, is, uh, you know, this movie is you know heavily based with the military where i think spielberg went on record saying that he didn't want to do any of that in his movie you know he didn't want to see you know military people standing around the table talking about how they're going to attack these tripods and and not only that but he didn't want to see destruction uh, destructions of landmarks big you know famous landmarks where they kind of do it a bit in this movie so yeah that's another kind of difference there as well you also don't see anything to do with the red vines uh, in this movie either uh, where the Spielberg one, they actually, you know, heavily feature that in it as well. So there is some drastic differences. They actually two, feel like two very, very different movies. And it's very hard to choose which is my favourite of the two. It's one of those things that it, it just depends on the mood that you're in, what version you're going to want, want to watch in terms of the War of the Worlds. But um, this one has a real, you know, special place in my heart. I really do love it. And uh, fans out there, again, if you're not already aware of, but aware of it, but um, Jeff Wayne done a wonderful, uh, you know, musical version of War of the Worlds as well. And this actually basically tells the story as well of War of the Worlds. And uh, there's some amazing music in this uh, Forever Autumn. Uh, is a personal, personal favourite of mine. Now, before I let you go, there's one last thing that I actually read up about this movie, and I thought it would have been very interesting, and it's kind of a shame that it never happened. But back in the 20s, when Paramount got the rights to this movie, uh, they actually approached uh, Alfred Hitchcock, and for a while there, it looked like we might get an adaption from Alfred Hitchcock, but unfortunately, it fell, th it fell through, and we never got it in the end. But could you imagine actually watching a version of War of the Worlds directed by Alfred Hitchcock. It's another one of them what ifs, you know, it would have been so intriguing to see that. It's a shame it never happened. Now, as for the 4K transfer that you get on this uh, version as well, uh, I don't know what it is. What is it with Technicolor uh, uh, when it comes to 4K? It just looks breathtaking. And uh, here is another example of it. Uh, the picture is remarkably clean. It really, really is. Uh, and the, the grain structure is amazingly light. It's insanely light. I couldn't believe how light it actually looks. And grain haters you have um, nothing to worry about in terms of grain. I think you are going to be very pleased by what you see with this image. But it is the Dolby Vision colors again that is the absolute star of the show here. 
they look stunning they really really do again not overly aggressively used everything just looks very very natural looking now and uh, especially when you do see a lot of the uh, kind of the the heavier battle scenes you're really going to appreciate some of the Dolby Vision colors there as well the black levels are insane Oh, I love, I love inky blacks. You just have to know that when you say, if you are familiar with my channel, I love deep inky blacks and you get it in abundance with this movie on 4K. And there is some great uh, increase in shadow detail as well. It's a stunning, stunning 4K transfer, folks. I, I have no complaints whatsoever. I'm not going to do any kind of minor gripes to this one because it's not, um, it's just not worth doing if I'm completely honest and it also has a DTS 5.1 audio and uh, I have to admit I was actually very very surprised by the audio on this one uh, for the first like couple of minutes of the movie the first maybe 20 minutes of the movie it's very front heavy and then it's when you see the kind of the lid screwing off uh, the meteorite the first meteorite that crashes when you hear this the, that that sh lid kind of screwing off all of a sudden it just comes from behind you and it really really surprised me it actually almost frightened me because it was so front heavy and then from there on from that lid screwing off it just became a very active mix uh, you are going to be i really i mean and i mean this is are going to be ecstatic when you see some of the heavier action scenes or when you hear it uh, there is a, an amazing level bit of bass that i've never heard before on this movie and it really took me by surprise but yes when you do see the heavier action sequences you are going to get a great sense of atmosphere in terms of what's becoming behind you and uh yeah i was i was really really blown away by it right so uh let's get on to the unboxing of this i'm going to take us around i'm going to show you everything that's inside it it's a stunning release and i think you are going to really enjoy this one Right, so here we go, War of the Worlds. So I have gonna remove the J card off as per usual, and uh, I'll give you a close look at it. But as you can see, all the writing there on the yellow is actually all the uh, special features, but just don't be fooled by it. Uh, the same features that you see on the 4K disc are actually on the Blu-ray, so uh, they do make it seem like there's a lot more than there actually is, but there is a bit there. And then of course you got a write up of the movie as well. Right, so uh, put that to a side, and then let's get on with the uh, the release itself. And um, you know, I, I've always said that I love my lenticular covers, but for this, it is the artwork for me. Um, actually, as, as a matter of fact, the lenticular is almost taking away something from the artwork. Uh, I think you'll know what I mean when I actually show the booklet, because the booklet actually has the same uh, artwork as the main cover here. But um, there is, I just love the the design choice for this. You kind of got the Martians there. You know, firing down, you can sort of see it on each side. Uh, you've got Mars in the background as well, War of the Worlds in the middle there. And of course, you've got some flames at the bottom. So, uh, yes, love the, the cover on this one. And uh, the lenticular doesn't do a whole lot when you kind of move it. It slightly moves, as you can see there. But, uh, yeah, stunning artwork on this one. And then right around to the spine you go. And you've got War of the Worlds there in the middle. And, of course, this is their, their first edition on 4K. And then right around to the back, and I was so happy that they opted for the artwork on uh, for this uh, back artwork. Uh, anyone that's seen the movie, it's the scene that's right at the end of the movie where they kind of defeat the aliens. And uh, yeah, so happy they actually opted for that artwork. Uh, it has a high gloss finish as well. So uh, yeah, stunning looking artwork on the back of this one. And uh, yeah, that will take me then into the contents inside. And that's your seal book and your booklet. So uh, the steelbook is quite amazing on this as well. It's actually hard to pick between which is the best uh, between the main artwork and uh, the steelbook. And then, of course, you've got your booklet there on the right-hand side. So I will start with the booklet, then we'll make our way onto the steelbook itself. So here we go. And I think you can kind of see what I mean now with the, the lenticular cover on the main box. It does actually almost take something away from the artwork on this, but you can get a good look at it now. And, uh, yeah, it really is a stunner. And then right around to the back, it kind of just continuates there. So uh, inside this booklet, they actually kind of show, you, show you some of the original poster artwork from different countries, uh, which is quite nice. But when you kind of go straight through to the booklet, it starts going on to a write-up uh, of the movie itself there. Kind of, it's just about the movie, the, the the history of the movie, and I think it's the, the, the cast as well. And then, of course, you just got, uh, I think that's Mars there. It is Mars, actually. Uh, so yeah, just a quick look at the, the booklet there and then put that to a side and right onto the steel book we go and uh, check this out. So it actually has a complete matte finish. There's no uh, 
uh, kind of spot glossing going on, no embossing or anything like that. And uh, it's, yeah, it's beautiful. So you've got one of the aliens there. It's almost like he's coming through Mars. So uh, yes, loving the artwork uh, choice, uh, the design choice on this one. And then right to the spine. And as you can see, the spine is the exact same as the outer box. And then right around to the back. And uh, it's one of my favorite scenes in the movie. I always found that they handled this scene far better in this movie than they did with the Spielberg one with Tim Robbins and all that. I just felt that that scene dragged on quite a bit where it wasn't near as bad in this movie. So uh, opened it up and that is the steelbook in full. And then that lastly brings us on to uh, the discs themselves. So you got your 4K disc there. Uh, very boring looking. Uh, and then of course you got your uh, Blu-ray disc which actually looks far better. And then lastly brings us into the uh, inside artwork. So there you have it folks. That is everything inside this uh, stunning looking edition of War of the Worlds. And a huge thanks again uh, to Connor for actually sending this my way. Uh, it really is a beautiful, beautiful edition. Right folks, so there you have it. That is everything in this astonishing release of War of the Worlds from Imprint. And uh, I'm still pinching myself that I actually own this movie uh, on 4K. It was such a treat. And a huge thanks again, Connor, uh, for sending that my way. So there you have it, folks. So as per usual, if you like what you see here, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you could do, leave a comment down below. And please do share your thoughts on this movie and what is your favorite adaption of it. And yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.